December 14, 2005, as I was coming home from work, um, I was hit from the rear by a drunk driver. It was a multi-car crash that required the jaws of life. Fortunately for me, it happened like a block from Henry Ford Hospital. So I went there for emergency care and suffered a traumatic brain injury. When I was at Ford Hospital and uh, it was time for, I was stable enough for rehab, they offered several sites and to be honest, the proximity um, was a factor. But I had heard other good things about it too. I was immediately accepted. I was in the inpatient unit for two weeks, getting physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Because my right eye was closed, um, I had limited vision which of course affect my balance and, and walking and also level of strength. So that's really what they worked on, how to be able to function with just vision in one eye. I appreciate the, the team effort. You know, I was always asked, what is it that you want to accomplish from your stay here? Uh, the high level of care, the sensitivity, the staff to how I was feeling, how I was progressing, uh, if there's anything they felt that they could do to assist in my recovery. I went from a, a wheelchair to a walker to a cane to the point where I could just walk on my own. Uh, tremendous, tremendous progress that I couldn't have done without my stay here. And I really attribute that to my faith. I believe that, um, that I would have the courage and determination and strength to accomplish because of what uh, God will allow to happen for me. And that's why I thank God for REM, that any progress I've made, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I was assigned a mentor, and uh, we kept in contact maybe once a month, and she was certainly encouraging and motivating for me to the point where I now want to serve as a mentor. Besides coming to the fitness center once a week, I'm participating in the TBI research project, and I'm grateful to REM for that. I, I consider REM my family. It's certainly an important part of my recovery, and I know it's an ongoing recovery progress process, so that's why I'm still coming once a week for the fitness center and to participate in the research project.